Safety is everybody's responsibility easily. We're having one of the best years in regards to safety. Doc cares about the employee's safety because they want them to go home safe and come back safe. DOT prioritizes safety because our people are the number one component of our business and if we don't have the right safe environment for them to work, they cannot be successful. Our wearable sensor program is part of our new hire onboarding for warehouse employees in Mount Sterling. We use it to monitor flexion at the lumbar spine. Low back injuries would be our number one injury in the warehouse, so any tool that we can use to help reduce their chance of injury is, is crucial. If we have an employee that's got our wearable sensor on and they are using poor lifting mechanics, it will go off. It's like when your phone vibrates, it's the same idea. So it's just a light vibration that acts as a cue of, hey, you need to make a better move when you're doing your next lift. We've been really happy with the impact it's had in terms of how they can move better to keep themselves healthy and perform their job well. In 2023, we'll be expanding to multiple locations. Our shock watch safety program is like the sensors that we use for people, but you're putting them on a forklift. It helps us identify collisions that can occur, whether it's with another machine or with a stationary object, and we use it as a tool to help investigate why that incident happened and to investigate root cause to hopefully prevent it from happening in the future. We're excited to make investments in 2023 to further enhance our Shockwatch program. In 2022, we did put a big emphasis on behavioral-based safety. The behavior-based safety team, it's a whole bunch of people that work on the floor. They're just regular employees that are taking that step forward. Safety, this is a team effort. They help us out in the, in the way that, you know, if they see something, they say something. They're the ones that are making it happen out there. We get together once a month. We address uh, safety concerns, put in mirrors, put in stop signs, put in lights on machines. All those ideas came from our employees. We do um, a safety committee on the uh, first Wednesday of every month. There are representatives from each one of our warehouse shifts and they bring ideas and they bring focus items, things to chase until the next meeting. We talk about our safety tips. It reaches just about every department in the building. And when that information gets funneled back up to the committees, we're able to do something about it before something catastrophic happens. Every quarter, um, I will meet with directors as well as managers and they all have a safety scorecard and we go through action items that they have, the activities that they're supposed to be completing every quarter. Every location has the same topic area and every location within that topic area has two or three action items that they need to complete. And then they can also meet with their groups at each location and develop a location specific action items as well. Our occupational health trainer program is a program that we have company-wide. We have occupational health trainers at the majority of our DCs and they have two main focus areas. The first and the primary is always going to be injury prevention. Second piece of our occupational health trainer program is the injury management. So, you know, we're out there in the warehouse, we're working with our DTI folks on a daily basis. Our occupational health trainers serve all of our employees and we're available to our office staff as well. Our occupational health trainers work their butts off and we're extremely grateful for all the work they do to keep our employees healthy. Slip, trips and falls have been our top cause of injury for several years. We are creating a really robust program that consists of videos, messaging, handouts, posters that our drivers can participate in, bringing more slip, trip, fall awareness, lot hazard awareness, dock hazard awareness to our drivers to, to keep them more prepared while they're out there working. Thank you to our drivers, garage, and spotters for prioritizing safety in 2022 and look forward to partnering with you in 2023 for an even better year. Employees' opinions really do matter. We're now analyzing the results from the safety survey. And with those results, we will be putting together action items for each location in the business to help provide a safer environment based on employee feedback. I don't think that I can say enough to thank them for, for such an impressive safety record. Thank you for your feedback on the Culture Safety Survey. Your feedback is driving change in 2023. I just want to thank all my employees from Dot Foods. 
and not only the employees, but also the um, leadership, managers, supervisors that we all played a part in. I appreciate everything you guys do for us. And just keep in mind that safety is number one.